Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I want to show you guys like this really great idea that my big sister Rebecca um, had asked all of the sisters to do, and I think it just works wonders. So she actually had us to make a command center. So I'm just going to give you guys like a little run through of my command center, and I just love, love, love it. I am going to add more things to it because I'm just not starting off. So that's where I'm going to need my sister's help. I'm going to need you guys to like, share, and comment, and let me know what are some things that you think that I should add to my command center to help with like decorations and things like that. So with that being said, let's get into it. I'm going to give you guys a brief little look at my command center here. And I actually just used my old computer desk that I had in my room. And I just pulled it out in my hallway. I have my sewing machine down there, my printer, and um, little, my little uh, markers, and my candle, things like that. And then I'm going to break everything down to you guys and show you what I do every day. Okay, so first starting with my monthly budget spending, which I haven't started on yet, but I am going to get to that. Um, the monthly budget spending, you actually can put uh, what the item is, the budget amount, the actual amount, the difference, and then you put little notes here. You also have space for your income, expenses, and then our Lord's favorite part, of course, savings. Now this is a, my monthly calendar and I actually have it for January and February. It's my monthly calendar. This is my weekly reflection. Love, love, love this. So I actually have to write down what did I do that was positive this week? Um, how can I improve myself this week? How did I help someone this week? And these are my scriptures that I'm going over this week. And what did I learn from those scriptures is what I will put right there for my weekly reflection. Or I may write it in like a diary or a journal. This is the fun part. <laughs> so this is my actual home cleaning checklist. And as you guys can see, your girl be cleaning. Okay, so every day I have something that I do in different parts of the house. Okay, this is to get you prepared for the week. So you shouldn't be bored. You should not not have anything to do. You can make your plan and make it realistic. Don't put too much stuff on there, you know. Now, this is my daily docket. This is the thing that I do every day. And um, I redo this every day. No, stop teasing. Teasing, stop my daily docket and now this is what i keep on here because these are my chores that i do daily i try to organize something i clean my bathroom i mop and i vacuum dishes a load of laundry make bed of course and this is my meals i'm just not starting to do like this little meal planning thing i haven't quite gotten it yet so if you guys got any advice please leave it in the comment box for me thank you i would greatly appreciate it so OTD stands for of the day. So at nine o'clock, I would do my chore of the day. And that would be whatever I have to do over here. These are the things that I do throughout the day. Okay. Now this is just a weekly docket to just let me know um, what I want to do on the different days of the week. And then I will go and put it on my actual schedule. So like say if I'm out, and I need to write something in my little planner. I will come home and write here throughout the week and then I actually find a place to put it on my schedule. Now, this is very, very, very important to me. This is what I call my done list. So over here, we have to-do list. And this is what I call my done list. 
So on this list, I um, write down everything that I actually have done that day. I try to get everything done that's on the to-do list. And whatever I do not complete on my to-do list, then it has to be the first thing that I do in the morning when I wake up so I can put it on my done list. Now, I've been staying on top of things, been, been on track pretty good since I've started this. But guys, this is like my bread and butter. Every time I do something, I come in here and I write it down. I write it down. And then I look and see, okay, what's next? What do I need to do next? So I can always make sure that I've done everything. And whatever I have not done that day, I make sure that I do it the next day. So, yeah, you guys. So that was like a, thought was a really super cool idea. And I'm so thankful for my big sister for giving us that idea. Because ever since I made that list and... I try to make sure I do everything at the same time because I need help with time management. I know a lot of us need help with time management. Trust me. It's like you plan something and then your baby gets sick or they lose a sock or they lose a shoe or something just happens and then everything is just off track. So I love, love, love that command center. And I believe my Lord likes it also. So it helps me to stay to make sure everything is stay on track. It helps me with my time management, and also it's not so hectic. I remember when I used to have, um, you know, to do lists and things like that, and it was just so overwhelming. With this list here, I really enjoy it because it's easy for me. I have everything broken down. Like I said, I'm the type of person where I have to have to write stuff down in order for me to do things. So that works perfect for me. But if you guys have any questions or comments or any type of advice you would love to give, please write them in the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And with that, you guys, I'm going to say I love you all. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Trumpet butts, say my position, break a record, get us out, yo.